subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello in this video we shall discuss a poem aran which is written by george herbert first of all let's have a brief introduction to the poem aran is a metaphysical poem written by george herbert and was published in 1633 in his collection of poems the temple The poem has five stanzas and each stanza consists of five lines with a b a b b as rhyme scheme. In the Old Testament book of Exodus, Aaron Moses' brother is a prophet and temple priest and is traditionally interpreted as model for Christian priests. Aaron is the type of the ideal priest whose vestments and consecration are described in Exodus. and thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the urim and the thummim vestment is a piece of clothing worn by a priest during church services while consecration means being holy let us now look at the poem holiness on the head light and perfections on the breast harmonious bells below raising the dead to lead them unto life and rest thus are true aaron is dressed Holiness on the head refers to the headdress of the high priest a turban decorated with a plate of pure gold bearing the inscription holiness to jehovah light and perfections on the breast are the urim and the thummim they were gemstones that were carried by the high priest of israel on the priestly garments harmonious bells refer to the bells of gold which were attached to the hem of a robe you can imagine the dress of aaron with the help of this image now in these lines the poet gives an image of the ideal priest by interpreting the symbols of aaron's body and priestly garments in descending order head breast and the bells affixed to the base of the priest's dress The true priest's task is to lead his people to salvation from their sins which is his actual dress. Profaneness in my head, defects and darkness in my breast, a noise of passion is ringing me for dead unto a place where is no rest, poor priest thus am I dressed. Profaneness means not holy, impure or defiled. Dressed means dress In this stanza Herbert contrasts himself against the ideal priest and finds himself wanting in a series of differences he finds himself in profaneness instead of holiness darkness instead of light and has noisy passions rather than the sound of holy bells that draw him to hell rather than to heaven thus he calls himself a poor priest who is poorly dressed Only another head I have, another heart and breast, another music making live not dead, without whom I could have no rest. In him I am well dressed. In this stanza, the poet comes up with a hinge point, which is the center of the poem, and gives the poet a hope. Despite being a poor priest, he says, has another head that governs him, another heart, and another music. all these infuse life into him rather than death they bring him rest and dress him well alternative head heart and music refer to some inner priest christ is my only head my alone only heart and breast my only music striking me in a dead that to the old man i may rest and be in him new dressed now in this stanza he reveals that his alternative inner priest is christ Christ is the speaker's only head, heart and breast. Christ strikes the old man dead and keeps the speaker in a new dress. It is Christ who makes him new. The stanza is based on St. Uh, Paul's letter to the Ephesians that you put off the old man which is corrupt and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness so holy in my head perfect and light in my dear breast my dog chime tuned by christ who is not dead but lives in me while i do rest come people aaron is dressed this stanza confirms the change that the poet has undergone he describes his head 
holy and his heart filled with perfection and light. It is Christ who tunes his preaching into a music. He is not dead but lives in him and perfects his priestly vocation.